Ladies and gentlemen, it is I, Tetra, and I am back with another EPL game. So, let me introduce the players on the blue team. We have Breeze, Shrimpy, Snitch, Shitter, and Quacknix. And on the right-hand side of the red team, we have Nathan, Muppet, Dark Mock, Alex the Pro G, and JPL. And the, we missed a couple of the picks due to the fact I was not prepared to press the record button. So, the first pick was Snitch picking the Jada. Then it was Muradin and I think Karazim <coughs> were the next two. Then it was the Tyrael and the Brightwing, followed by the Sonya Illidan. Or it was a, uh, or it was Illidan and Monk at this point. Sonya might have been the second pick. Not entirely sure, but right now it is Blue Team's pick. In comes the Tychus and the Arthas. We're going to be on Sky Temple. So curious to see what Schwimpy can do with that Arthas. JPL, final pick of this game. <coughs> His team kind of needs some range. We'll see what they can get out of it. And if I, uh, I still sound ill, it's because I am. I'm just trying to get the content out whenever I can. So, let's see what JPL does pick. He is a Rage Assassin via trade. So it wouldn't be too surprising for him to pick one up. And, like we said, his team does Let's need one. Fuck. And it's Falstad coming in here. So the double dwarf team on our red team. So we're going to be going on to the Sky Temple straight away. These two very good uh, teams are very, very good players playing in at the EPL. There is, a, there is a ladder there. I had a very quick look at it. I can't remember much about it. We'll keep an eye on it, see what it is. They've got like a tool to set things up now. It's really growing very quickly still. not. Uh, it's still something they're just setting up though. So I wouldn't expect to see too much from it uh, in the near future. But they're working on it as hard as they can. Really good to see players banding together to make something as cool as this. So, <coughs> excuse me. We are loading in. I always forget what the bands are. So uh, sorry, I know Uther was one of them. But uh, I missed the rest. All right, and we are loaded, almost in. Muppet is loaded in. We're just waiting for Snitch now. The UK player is apparently the slowest to load. There we go, we are loaded in. So, ladies and gentlemen, spawning on the left-hand side of the Sky Temple, it is going to be playing the Terrail. It is Breeze playing Brightwing. It will be Shitter playing the Arthas. It will be Quacknix playing the Tychus. It is going to be Shwimpy. And play the Jada. It is Snitch. And on the right hand side, it is the red team playing the Muradin. The it will be Alex, the Pro G, playing seven, the Karazim. It will be Nathan playing five, the Illidan. It will be four, Dark Mock playing three, the Falstad. Two, will be JPL and one, playing the Sonya. It will be Muppet. I'm Tetra. I'll be bringing you this game and many others. Uh, but for now, we see both teams started to group up around this bush area, getting ready to try and look for a fight if necessary. Dark Box sees most of it happening. Alex Pro G, oh, Shrimpy with the dash, dodges the stun, gets hit by the spear of Muppet. Muppet now being focused down by that overkill, and Shrimpy gets the kill with overkill there. Very, very nice play. Now his first blood going over to our blue team onto Muppet, and we have already seen JPL though, soaking that bottom lane. He will try and make up for that early kill. Top lane. Breeze has made his way up here. Nathan is up here as well to soak Axe Pro G. Looking for a cheeky kill, though he knows Breeze is in here, so he wants to try and get a Breeze, getting ready for the Eldruid's fight. There we go, teleporting away. Trying to make sure he stays in XP range, but he does actually miss out on one minion there. Three man roaming gank squad. In the bottom lane, they want to try and get JPL, but JPL cheekily going to this location and then dashing over the wall to escape here. Snitch and Swimpy, though, still in lane. They want to try and catch out JPL if they can. We'll go over the towers in a sec. Just going to see if JPL does get ganked here. There's a bit of a fight on Arthas. Arthas does get taken down. Will JPL go down? No, we're going to see everyone rotating up to the mid lane to get some work done. So let's have a look at talents before people hit those level 3s uh, and level 4s. We're going to see Purge Evil Material getting that extra damage there. The Hyper Shift, the full phase shift build for Brightwing here. Dark Rock caught out of position a bit here. But Dash to Kerosene gets his healing. Just going to be able to dash to a mini wave too. Keep himself nice and safe. Regen Master for Arthas. He's going to Alex the Pro G. Tigus already down here. And Shitter will get taken down as well. He doesn't have Blink Heal or anything like that now. So he does have to play quite defensively. Both teams are level 3. Red team getting very far ahead. Starting to hit that level 4. And uh, we see the armor pissing rounds on the Tigus. 
getting that extra damage in onto his primary target. We have the Kundra's Pursuit on Jada and on the right hand side, <coughs> the red team. Their talents we can see Muradin going for the Reverb Thunderburn, the standard uh, Thunder build. The standard thunder, thunder Clap build. We can see Karazim going for Transcendence here. Kiru getting caught out of position. Dark Wolf trying to take him down with the standard Shadow Shield and Immolation has Immolation completely fixed in the recent patch so it no longer bugs out and doesn't activate at times. <coughs> we see Season Marksman on the Falstead and Flow Rider giving him that auto attack build. Not going for the Vamp Assault that we saw in a couple of the other casts I did but instead the Flow Rider for the maneuverability. Breeze getting locked down but is still completely fine and safe. Muppet was locked down there and is now to get a lot of damage completely surrounded. Locked down by Quackley preventing him from getting away from that roaming gang squad and now we're seeing JPL and Dark Mob going on to Snitch. Snitch taking a lot of damage. Stunned by Alex the Pro G and he is taken down. Shrimpy now trying to do quite a bit of damage to Alex the Pro G while still in full retreat. The Rude does land on Kerosene but we're still seeing Dark Mob chasing Shrimpy but now he has to turn around. Dash to a minion to get out of there and Nathan dashing to him heals him up as well. Dark Mob still going aggressive though. <coughs> trying to lock someone down. You can see the Sonya went for that shot of fury and the focus attack. So just getting that extra damage out. Level 4 is hit for subside. the blue team as well. Find something else and to fight we see the Vampiric Strike for Teriel. We see the Peekaboo for Brightwing giving her that extra vision. Destruction on Arthas. The Spray and Prey on the Tychus and the Snowstorm coming out from Janus. We heard that extra radius on her blizzard. So it's easier to lock people down. And he's going to set up Brigger Frost if that's the heroic that they plan to take. We're now going to see Snitch and Quacknicks start taking this Bruiser Camp here. <coughs> Wiping that out as quick as they can. Trippy giving a hand for that as well. Big group up on this. And as such, Axe Protein and Dark, Dark Mock thinking about intercepting it. But with the Peekaboo, Blue Team does see them coming. And they obviously weren't there in time. They were to, uh, doing this though. To the fact they did have a talent advantage, they were trying to make the most of it. They find Snitch here. Snitch taking a lot of damage. But Quacknix trying to protect him and help him get away. But Snitch getting body blocked here. One more auto. All the fun of the Stormbolt does not land. A kill went, did go down onto Falstead. So uh, that chase went pretty badly. They didn't get Snitch and they lost Falstead. So a bit of a disaster there for the red team. Did not go according to Fallas at all. And uh, because of that, we can see the level 7 talents available for both teams. Battle of Momentum. On the Muradin, Echo of Heaven on the Karazim. First Aid on the Illidan. Secret Weapon on that Falstad. And Ferocious Healing on the Sonya. Whereas on the left hand side on the blue team, we do see the Battle Momentum on the Tyrael. Face Shield on Brightwing, the standard talent for this level. Rune Tap on the Arthas. First Aid on the Tychus. And Frost Armor to protect against that Illidan on the Snitch on that Jaina. You can see Dark Mock is sticking at the other down, going in now, fine Snitch, but we will realize quite quickly that our Frost Armor is going to be quite hard to break through, and we'll have to back up. In comes Alex the Pro G from the side, though. Going to try and focus down Snitch here to pick him off. It does come in, though. He gets a shield onto Snitch. Now, such Dark Mock has dived pretty deep here, but he is surrounded by friends, but all of them are dying so quickly. And that is three members down, a three versus five there. Sonya was too far back, and Falstad was still pushing the top lane. A disaster for the red team here, losing that many members at level nine. And as such, we're seeing the blue team being able to take this boss with very little difficulty. Due to the fact that they can't, uh, blue team can't really, sorry, red team can't really come over and contest with that few people. They're now heading their way over. The Muppet will realize he has to back up, and he can't really fight this on his own. So, level 9s are available. Red team looks like they will still manage to hit level 10 first. Uh, due to the fact they are still soaking three lanes. But, blue team has grabbed that shrine. There are the level 10s. And as such, red team will dive straight into this temple. And gain an advantage out of it as quick as they can. In comes Tychus. Three. In comes Tychus. Tyrael. And Brightwing. Nice stun by Muradin. Onto two members. Axe Brody trying to jump over the wall. Does do the run straight into the tornado. Needs to be careful here. Illidan. You need to spend a to escape, but now it's a Muppet. It's some serious trouble. Good Mighty Gust from JPL will allow him to get out. Heroics available for both teams. We just saw that Mighty Gust coming down and the Metamorphosis. So we have Wrath of the Berserker for the Sonya. Divine Palm for that Karazim and the Avatar for Muradin. And we can see the Water Elemental coming down for Snitch on the left hand side. Sanctification on Tyrael, Blink Heal on the Bright Wing. Army of the Dead on Arthas. The Draken Laser Drill to counter that Illidan coming in from Shrimpy. And like we said, Water Elemental 
on at Snick on that Jaina. Temple pretty much exclusively went over to our blue team, but both teams still continuing to stay together in terms of XP, keeping up with each other quite nicely, uh, thanks to just very good play on both sides. But Forts currently completely even as well. We lost Bot4 after that boss and tower push from the blue team. While in the meantime, Falstad won a lot of fights were going on, took all of top lane and took that down as well. We see towers missing in both mid lanes, but mid fort for the red team is a lot lower on health, so you need to be careful. Muffet getting focused down here, but able to do a little bit of counter damage, keep himself out of danger, make sure that he does not get picked off. We see Nathan able to radiant dash out, does not get rooted. Very nice play there, keeping himself safe and secure. Falstad also realizing there was enemies nearby, has backed up, and is now for a new opportunity. Illidan going in onto Kraknix here. There's the sanctification. Really helping out here. In comes that Draken laser drill. Focusing onto Sonya at the moment. There we go. Changes the target onto Muradin who jumps away. So the laser's now out of range. They are down a heroic in this particular scenario. Root does not land from Arthas. Everyone is able to get out for both teams. Red team took a bit more damage there. But they did manage to survive that. They were able to get out without that Draken laser drill doing too much to them. Very nice sanctification by Tyrell that really turned that fight and allowed Tigers to get that laser down without too much difficulty. <coughs> Shrimpy, just going to be back as well as Quack Phoenix. They both need a bit of mana and they're fine to do so. They can't really split push bot lane because it's too far push and they could be in danger. Top lane, they will be able to de-push that quite quickly. Right now, Dark Bob just killing walls, getting his cooldowns back on his heroic. So we'll have that back as soon as possible. He doesn't have the first in blades. Similar to the Lowell build that we see on the uh, Illidan. But he's completely fine. He will just be able to farm up those cooldowns whenever he can with the sword attacks. We can see it's going down quite quickly. He will have it uh he'll have it quite close to off cooldown by the time the next fight happens. Currently with 16 seconds remaining. And the temple's already active. Blue team. Already prepared by this bot lane to begin on this temple and they will start it on their own. We see a large red team force though moving down to this temple with no vision. So Shrimpy and Stitch in a bit of trouble here. There's the stun onto Shrimpy here. He dashes around, tries to escape. Good grenade, but Illidan blocking his way out, takes him down, but it's now completely locked down. So it was Muradin who was doing that. Nice divine palm onto Alex the Pro G, keeping him alive. He now gets the stun onto Snitch. Snitch gets taken down, and they're continuing to chase Muppet. Is also dropping low. It is under tower. Does not want to do this. Here comes Falstaff with the mighty cast. Pushes Breeze and Shitter back. Shitter does use the blink here to try and escape. Breeze goes down. Shitter now completely separated that. Cracknix body blocks from escaping by the foul to the Axe the Pro G here. It is that diving a bit too deep, so we can't actually continue doing damage to on the wrong side of that Pro G. But that's still a full team wipe for our red team. Able to grab everyone. They'll now be able to grab this fort. It's Axe the Pro G jumping out there. Just the fact he's getting a bit too low on health. And will now begin working on this temple. Needs to be careful though. Needs to get a bit of his health back from his trait before he takes too much damage. <coughs> so that bottom four does go down for the blue team. So they are in a bit of trouble. Top four currently uncontested. JPL taking a lot of damage. Can he get out of here? There's the dash followed by Swimpy's dash. And he's able to catch up with him. Let's have a look at those level 13 talents that did hit during that last fight. Red team making their way up to the top plane. But those talents... We can see the imposing will from the Tyrael to try and counteract Illidan's shield dust to avoid that ability damage. Uh, we have Fighting Cold, more damage from the Arthas. Lead Rain, that's slow on Tychus, and improved Ice Block on Jaina. Red team actually just going back to base. Taking Mercenaries, keeping themselves healthy, just doing what they need to do. Where And their team has the Thunder Strike. On Muradin, giving him that extra uh, damage on single targets in case he dives in onto any backline. We have the Relentless on the Karazim, giving him that uh, CC reduction. Six cents on the Illidan to try and counteract Jaina. The uh, Giant Killer on Arthas, more auto attack focused. And the Mystic Spear, giving a grappling hook to Sonya. They found Quackenix here. They want to try and take him down, but they don't know if he's alone. So they're going to leave up on him. Now they have friends, though, so they're going in onto him. It's four versus one currently. But in comes Freeze. It's a little bit to the other side. Going to drop a shield onto Cracklix and then teleport out. Cracklix still goes down, though. But Breeze is now in full retreat. But Axe Pro G and Muppet are beginning to chase JPL from the other side. Trying to block him off. Nice teleport there, but the Metamorphosis will stop him mounting. And Breeze now in full retreat here. Needs to be so careful. He pops the sanctification to keep himself alive and let his elder his might come up cooldown. But it's over the wall, but Darkbok follows him. There's the shield from Breeze. Slowing down Darkbok for a bit, but Breeze still can't really get out of this. So he will go down here. 
and will try and demat Dark Block before he, uh, the explosion finishes. But the explosion finishes without him getting anyone. You can see the level 16s did happen as well for both teams. We have Stone Form, Circle of Life, the Blood for Blood, Hammer Time, and Nerves of Steel for our red team. Top lane, Falstad trying to get rid of Shitter and Shrimpy there, but he's on his own. JPL running away here, but Darkbok has arrived to help out, but now Darkbok is separated completely on his own. JPL with the Mighty Gust to protect Darkbok, and now with Axel Pro D here, they can actually put up a fight in this snitch. Completely separated from the team. Divine Palm popping very early. I think that was meant for Illidan, but it didn't matter. Illidan does get out as is. They're now chasing off the Shrimpy. Shitter completely ignored. And Shrimpy in full retreat, trying to keep himself alive with that stone skin that he just popped. Shitter continuing to blink heal too, but now Shitter's in danger, blink healing to a minion. And they continue to escape. Breeze coming in here with the holy ground, trying to protect his team. And they're all on the run. Shrimpy is so low at this point. And there's the hook. Sorry, the uh, spear from Muppet. And they take down Shrimpy on that Tychus. And they're able to get that. In the meantime, the boss is pushing the bot lane hard. It's made its way to the keep. And it's doing a very good job with that. So the level 16 on the side of the blue team. We already saw the Holy Grant and the Stone Skin for Tychus. We also have Stone Skin on Arthur's the Northern Exposure on the Jaina. And the Greater Polymorph on the Brightwing for that extra Polymorph duration. Speaking of which, Muppet was Polymorph there. But the Mighty Gust from JPL disengaging and allowing his team to just back up and wait to fight another day. They're pretty comfortable at the moment. So just do what they want. Argamok just continuing to do Mercenaries as he wills. We'll just be able to grab that bottom temple will be the next one that is active. So they will be beginning to make their way over to that when they can. In the meantime, we can see the top lane, the mercenaries are being taken by both teams. Both teams going for those bruiser camps as much as they can. As the easy camps are all gold except for this one, which has been started by the red team. As they begin their rotation down to this bottom temple, which will be heavily contested by both teams. As both teams are still a bit away from level 20, they're still on even talents. So this is the best opportunity for either team My to fight here. Brightwing can teleport down. Session she is needed, she's currently soaking Guardians. XP. Needs to work out Do when she needs to do this. Mortal. Muppet has been spotted, needs to be very careful. Darkmoor could dash over the wall to help out here, but doesn't want to risk it. I'll be coming down. Brightwing continuing to soak XP up here. They find Arthur's. Arthur's is the focus. He gets teleported onto by Brightwing and the sanctification, keeping them alive. Root lands onto Alex the Pro G and the Blizzard doing so much damage. Mighty Gust keeps them away. He pops stone form. The Divine Palm, though, is wasted by the Karazim here. So Alex the Pro G getting focused down by the Water Elemental. Water Elemental will now get focused down by the Red Team as well. The Eva Team, the Eva Temple, we're finally going to see Breeze begin to step onto it. And Red Team begin to make their way in. They want to try and raid this and grab it as much as they can. They find Arthur's once again. Going to try and focus down the tank here. Brackett is getting shielded. Taking so much. Ink. The laser drill is active but it's focusing onto Dark Fog. Dark getting healed out so much. Manages to dash away. Axe Pro G now focusing onto Shrimpy but he's taking the full laser drill. Doing so much damage. And now the laser drill switches onto Muppet. And they're all being chased away. This area is impossible for Red Team to fight in. But they've already taken down Arthur's. They have that numbers advantage. Breeze. Was trying to chase people away. There's the Mighty Gust and Red Team, despite having a one-man advantage, have to back up due to the amount of damage that that laser did from Shrimpy there. The perfect positioning and the perfect fight area, despite these Arthur's able to take that fight. And they're able to grab all the shots from this temple. And that will do a lot of damage onto the bot lane of the Red Team, who are now coming in to contest again. Arthur's is still down. Shitter will be the target here. He can, of course, blink heal to anyone. He said... Just going to run away. He could have Blink Heal to Breeze if he really needs to get out. Snitch, though, is in danger. Polymorph used onto Illidan. Stop him from going down. Snitch is now the target. Needs to try and get out of here. He's completely surrounded. He goes down. Nothing he can do to get out of that. And the final few shots will be given over to the red team. And there is level 20 hit by the red team as well. We can see the Storm Shield taken by Karazim. Nice dodge by Shrimpy there. The Demonic Form on the Illidan. Once again, nice dodge by everyone on the blue team. The Epic Mount on Falstad. The Ignore Pain on the Sonya giving her the extra attackiness. And Stone Form coming in from the Muradin. Level 19 is available for the blue team. But they still have a bit to go for the level 20. So for now they're going to play a little bit passively. Making sure that they don't get picked off. They don't go down. They don't put themselves in unnecessary danger. Sonya though getting rooted. The Holy Ground is stopping her from reaching the rest of her team. But the rest of her team has reached her instead. And are doing huge amounts of damage. There is the Trank. The Sanctification. Keeping Arthur's alive here and letting him heal up. Metamorphosis comes in though from Darkbot. Giving him most of his health back. And Red Team in full retreat. Jada is back now. So they can't really continue this fight any longer. And as such, 
they will back away. And this will give the blue team some, ch some time to soak up, get experience, and get ready for when they have their own level 20s. Their easy camp is available. It has not been stolen. And as such, they will grab this and put themselves in position to begin fighting once the next objective comes up. The boss is up. Do they, they unlikely want to risk taking this? They're looking to try and take the enemy easy camp, but they still have level 20. Yeah, level 20 is not available. It will be very soon, though. So you need to be super careful. Red team know they have a small window of time to get an objective, but they don't have time to get the boss. Instead, they're chasing, trying to get a quick kill before those level 20s are available. Breeze gets stunned up. Level 20 is just about to hit very soon, and Blue Team has done a great job of disengaging until now, and are, have managed to evade until those level 20s hit, which is about to be any second now. If they just stay near a minute, there we go. And as such, Red Team has to abandon this boss. They will get their own easy camp, though, because he's a level 20s for the Blue Team. Harden Shield on the Tyrael, Harden Shield on the Arthas, Bolt the Storm on the Jada. Brightwing with that Storm Shield and Tigers, the focusing diode. It's been working out quite well so far. Let's see what makes of it. We can see Arthur's getting stunned up. He is the target here. Muppet, though, taking so much damage. The Divine Palm keeps him alive, though. But, oh, great holy ground into root there. And the Muppet still able to escape thanks to his ignore pain. And he's just backing up. JPL also taking a lot of damage. That water element is slowing him down, preventing him from escaping. And the Pro-G, though, just being the warrior, just taking up all of that damage. Able to allow JPL to escape here. Illidan, in the back line, was able to just sneak a couple shots from that temple. And is now looking for a way to escape. Taking a bit of damage now. And using his metamorphosis again, just as a teleport. Due to the fact he's permanently in demon form. Just going over the wall and just continuing to die. If he's taking so much damage, it's more than likely he's going to die. But he's making the most of this nice juke there. Back here, getting himself away from Tigers, but needs to dodge out on all of Jane's abilities. Taking so much damage and he finally goes down. But in the meantime, back door is happening from the red team. They're moving on to the core as much as they can. Muppet doing a huge amount of damage with that uh, Wrath of the Berserker. In comes the laser, though. Good positioning. It's focusing on to JPL. It has the extra range now. And it's doing so much damage. JPL is also being attacked by the keep. JPL goes down. It's now focusing on to Muppet. As that's on but he's got ignore pain active. He's taking 25%, 75% less damage. And they get the core. GG. Even with Sonya down. They're able to take the core and take the game there. And I think I got that wrong. No, 75% was right. But well played red team there with a great backdoor attempt. That laser did so much damage. But that ignore pain perfectly timed to prevent the damage going down to Sonya. And let her just get all of her damage off. And the rest of the team, almost completely untouched, were able to take down the core. Super well played, guys. Once again, that's been another EPL game. When these guys have a website or a leaderboard or something, that will start being in the description. But for now... I just want to bring you guys as many games as possible, despite my rapid, apparently rapidly deteriorating health per video. But, once again guys, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you all next time.